Here's a web-based front-end to a set of server-side processes that provides a matching algorithm against existing CAD models and generates new ones when needed. It also validates the needs of the end application through automated structural analysis. Simple form entry with data validation and graphical feedback helps the user focus first on the major design parameters. This application was built using the ESA authoring tool, which delivers a lightweight web interface that can be run in any browser. The client does not need any of the tools used to explore existing designs or assess the feasibility of new ones. The CAD, analysis, Excel calculations, costing software, and any other utilities needed to run are only done so as needed on the server. Here, after all the major design parameters are entered, the system searches against a database of existing configurations. A couple close matches are found, and if the user feels that they are sufficient for the end application, the necessary files can be downloaded as needed. In this particular case, the client also has the CAD authoring tool, CATIA, natively installed, so the CAD files can be downloaded and opened if any further edits are required. The system generates both forged and machined models per the parameters entered within Web UI. Reconsidering the previously entered parameters in this example and proceeding to model generation instead, the next screen allows for forging specific parameters to be entered. While there are a multitude of field entry types available within the ESA tool, here is a simple drop-down list that's employed to aid in adhering to standard dimensioning. In this case, the fields have been left to allow the user to overwrite them, but they could be locked out as well. A couple more adjustments are made, and while a simple forge model could be generated at this point, the user here proceeds to the machining parameter entry screen for the secondary manufacturing steps. The machined features and surfaces are shown in dark blue in the model image, and the same feedback can of course be used. Here a couple minor adjustments are made to the number of serrations for the mating shaft, the tapered hole pitch and the direction, which is further modified, and then the user proceeds to the final entry screen. Lastly, a set of structural analyses can be configured. Here, for demonstration, a simple lateral load is applied at the drag link connection, and the pitman arm is pinned at the shaft connection. The lateral load indicated on screen is adjusted per the operational requirements. Upon submission, the server script generates the required CAD models and performs the structural analysis. Specific results are extracted from the analysis and returned to the web UI and used in the downstream estimation of the part cost. In this particular case, it appears that the microalloyed steel part price is slightly better than the total cost of the 4140 processing. Other analysis metrics such as maximum displacement and von Mises stress are shown in the UI, and they correlate with the screen capture of the analysis generated on the server. Again, the design table and various part models can be downloaded and used on any client that has the CAD application installed. While not shown, any previously run and saved configuration can be accessed through the other web pages in the portal by the creator or any other users with the proper permissions. Ultimately, this improves the efficiency of CAD model configurations by encouraging reuse when possible through automated parameter matching. When a new configuration is required, this greatly improves the efficiency of licensed tool usage by automating the creation of new designs and assessing their feasibility under their intended operational conditions.